If I reach up and turn the master switch off, will the airplane fall to the ground like a blind roofer, or will the engine keep running? Stick around and I'll show you some basics about aircraft ignition, and you'll be able to answer the question. How does a blind man become a roofer? To help answer this question, we're going to use the Cessna 172. Let's take a closer look and draw some basic components. First thing we need to do is draw an engine. This is a four-cylinder, horizontally opposed engine. Next, we have two magnetos, a left and a right. Their job is to create electrical current to a spark plug to produce a spark. Each cylinder has two spark plugs. The small green lines indicate a spark plug connected to the right magneto. And the red to the left magneto. So you can see on each individual cylinder that the two spark plugs are never powered by the same magneto. And this is the case when the magneto switch is in the both position. All spark plugs are firing in each cylinder. When the left position is selected, the right magneto is taken out of the system and only one spark plug per cylinder is being used. And now only the right magneto is working and only supplying power to half the spark plugs. And with the switch in the off position, no spark is being supplied to any cylinder, which would cause the engine to quit. So the question was, if we reach up, turn the master switch off, what will happen? And one thing to remember, the master switch controls the electrical system. The ignition system is a totally separate electrical system. So the master switch is turned off, nothing's running, but the engine is still operating correctly. So with the master switch off, we can pull the mixture all the way out. We see the RPMs drop, we push the mixture back in, the engine starts back up and continues to run and the RPMs go right back to where they were. And they will, provided the propeller is spinning. If the propeller is turning, the crankshaft is turning, and the magnetos are being powered. And if one magneto quits, your engine will still run. You won't develop as high of an RPM because you only have one spark plug per cylinder burning the fuel-air mixture. And as you can see, even with a complete electrical failure, the engine will still run. And that is the answer to the question. So one more thing to add. You'll notice when the airplane is shut down, it's shut down with the mixture and not the ignition. You can turn the ignition to off. That will shut the engine off, but that's not a good idea. And you'll see here, there, the ignition's in the off position and the propeller stops. When the key is in the off position, both magnetos are essentially electrically disabled. But if for some reason this doesn't happen and one of the mags is still hot, meaning it's working, there's still fuel getting to the engine. And if that propeller is turned even by hand, the engine could start. So in the event that that did happen to prevent serious injury or death, the mixture is pulled to full lean first. Then once the propeller stops, so go across to the master switch and then turn the ignition to off then there's no chance that engine could start even by hand propping it. And those are the basics of the ignition system. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check back often for my next series on airplane basics.